Hey everybody! Hello! Hey guys! Majlif here, we are the Vasquez family. In today's video, we are going to be watching and reacting to Sardar Udham, a movie that a lot of you, specifically our Indian um, fans, have been requesting. And going into this movie, uh, we've had a lot of feelings. I think we've been very eager to um, jump in and experience this. You guys have been very passionate about us watching this. Mm. Uh, it's taken us much longer than we would have wanted. Uh, we've ha been really busy as a family with work and, and things here at home. But I think the other reality is that we know what this movie is and we know what it, it, it's going to entail. And I think emotionally, we've been kind of preparing ourselves and, and maybe delaying it because we're, it, it's, it's, we know it's going to be hard to face. Um, so, but we're here today and we're starting and, and this is going to be a two-part series. We will say, quick disclaimer, for those of you that don't know, this is an interpretation of a real event. But again, it is a real event. It's based off of a true moment in history. And we are going to be seeing an interpretation, an artistic display of that. And so we will be giving our immediate thoughts after we watch both parts. Um, but we will definitely be letting our emotions, our reflections and thoughts sink in for about a day before we give our full uh, review mm -hmm. and reflection mm -hmm. and what we thought about this movie. Um, so that will be in part two. So stay tuned for that. We will give our full flushed out thoughts and more at that point. Uh, with that, we're going to jump in. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoy our reaction. And um, here we go. Sarah Dujam. I'm nervous. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm already loving the visuals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. सारे के कांड जो बचे हैं कुछ झेल में हैं जो बाहर हैं वो टूट चुके हैं अब यहाँ कुछ नहीं बचा है एक हथियार चाहिए मुझे हथियार के साथ तुम बॉर्डर नहीं क्रॉस कर पाओगे नीचे सीएल भी है नोबडी वांट्स टू हियर यू बीइंग फॉलोड दिस इज लाइक ब्यूटीफुली शॉट राइट नाउ Cut his hair. Cup ni klavo. Looks good. Mm-hmm. Looks really good. So much is being shown and not said. I know. Through the visuals. Seems like such a broken man. Like mm -hmm. There's not, there's only one thing to do. Seems this guy's trying to tell him where he is. Good afternoon, sir. Mm. Now we're in London. Send through all the old photographs you have and the aliases, and we'll do what we can to help. Right, sir. The difference in settings compared to the yeah. locations. They got the word out quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh, two years later. Mm. Whoa. Soviet Union. Dang, man, you made it all the way out there. Mm. His beard's back, too. That, that. Means, that means he made it out, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
That's cold, man. When you have icicles on your beard. On your eyelashes, too. You saw mm-hmm. the yeah. Yeah. On the in. flashback, man. Missing the guy in the photo was a good friend of his that died. Mm-hmm. This guy. That's him, yeah. The one who died? The one so. that... It was in the photo. Hmm. Probably a big reason as to why he's on this. Is that... Oh, man, is that a... Like a... Frozen lake? No. Maybe. It's a long way to go. That's what that <gasps> is. It's very... Like, just open. Exposed. Mm-hmm. Imagine being told, Oh, yeah, you're going that way. <laughs> That'd be so, oh man. Being already tired, like, and alone. having to walk for what feels like forever. Man. <sighs> Dang, man. The big question of what's making this all worth it for him, right? Uh-huh. Right. What is he fighting for? What is he pushing for? Now it's the question of which direction is he going in. Mm-hmm. Well, did he, f- he fall on the ice? Yeah. <gasps> Thirty-four. After thirty-two. After that time, are they still searching the same for him? Maybe. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Mm-hmm. Shutting. Sure Which contacts? Call mine. <laughs> mm, those look good. Mm. Mm-hmm. They're sweet. I wonder what they taste like. Mm-hmm. Besides sweet. <laughs> yes. Again, man, I'm loving how so much of this, like, there's hasn't been a lot of talking. It's just mm-hmm. been mm-hmm. watching him take in everything. They're really taking their time on it. I really love it. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of Michaels. Mm-hmm. 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 Six years Six later. Six years. Unrestrained in his pursuance of Nazi world domination, the writing on the wall is clear. The world is headed for all out war. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great privilege for me to be here to talk to you on behalf of the East India Association and the Royal Central Asian Society. Yeah. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, it is not only our right but our duty to rule India. It is not only Africa, ladies and gentlemen, but it's the white man's burden. With the benefit of my experience, oh my gosh, man. that these mm. reforms have been Effective. Where they speak. Mm-hmm. The country. That's the guy, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. Six years he was planning that. More. More, yeah. Wow. Hmm. We have recovered a pistol and live ammunition from him, about nine rounds. Further links are being investigated. What organization do you work for? He came in and he, yeah. <laughs> no one stopped him six years ago. Mm-hmm. Are you sure that Ali? 
I had nothing to do with this killing. He did it alone. He did not have the Communist Party. No. We figured out he worked in a cotton mill in the Punjab in about uh, 1919. His mother died when he was six. His father soon after that. He and his brother Yudhir, they grew up in an orphanage. He first settled in a small apartment in East London. Constantly shifted residences almost every six months from the east across to the southwest at Bournemouth. Yeah. Some later, <laughs> he spotted at a flea market selling lingerie, and he owns a Fiat car by now. Mm. You did a lot for six years, man. Yeah. His timing is interesting. <laughs> That's not even interrogation. They don't even think to consider what he might have done. Please, Parvat. Please. I was Surat Ali. Frank. HSRA? I was. Party. HSRA? Bhagat Singh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? I fight for freedom of my people. Fight for the freedom of the whole world. You equal, you march for being equal. I know equal. I, I know free. Mm. my country free. Then equal, then march equality. Mm. What is your actual name? My name is Oh my gosh, how exhausting. <coughs> we will dig everything out. the nature of your association with Ali Palmer. He hasn't said a word. <sighs> you knew him very well. Were you aware of what he was planning to do? Hmm. I already told you. I didn't know. In a major raid on suspected Irish Republican army hideouts, the police have seized more than three tons of explosives, along with a large amount of propaganda material. No! <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Seriously? What were they doing? You serious? Yeah. My revolution same. You lamb, me lamb. 
which I've seen. Now Indian to surveillance bahut badi hai. Thailand mein chape pad chuke hain. Ab yahan bhi log pakde ja sakte hain. Tum Russia mein apna contact use karke nikal jao yahan se niche. Yeah, that's when he left to Russia. So far is he going back to? Probably going back, yeah. Mm. You be safe and thank you for helping. I keep fighting. Who did you meet? The Red Army? The Communist Politburo? Another arms deal, Frank? Is that why you traveled to Spain from Russia? To support the communists in their city? <laughs> why does it always have to be? Do you really think that the Nazis and the Russians would lend a helping hand if we just stand idly by? It's fascinating because I actually learned that in, in school, but from Gandhi's like timeline. Um, well, that's a trait I've always admired in the Indians: the willingness to please. Never bothered to learn the language, but I served the crown well in India. <laughs> the ordinary people, the common people, the peasants—they liked it. Communists. <laughs> they incited the common people. They instigated the rebellions. You are here in the heart of the British Empire, making a good, honest, lawful living like us. Hmm. Wow, he came so close. And He's right there. Mm. I have your whole history here. You might as well tell me. Oh, wake up, man! They're not going to let you walk away from this this time. They're gonna hang you like they did Bhagat Singh. Bhagat's probably the one in the picture, right? Mm -hmm. Him, yeah. Symbolic act of death. Apni protest ko register karne ke liye. Wo terror se kisi ko. Azadi mein the sabse pehle kya karo gya? Azadi ki shaam ko sabse pehle ek badiya si chali chaat mein chupan dekho. Hmm. Bas aur ki. Fir ghar ja ke roti khake so jaunga. Ye kya saal ka tha tab ye kya kar raha tha? Of course, just no. हम किसी इंसान के खून के प्यासे नहीं है हमें किसी आदमी से या किसी देश से नफरत नहीं है हम सिर्फ एक इंसान के दूसरे इंसान की एक्सप्लाइटेशन के अगेंस्ट है हमें सिर्फ हिंदुस्तान के ही नहीं पूरी दुनिया के फार्मर्स वर्कर्स और स्टूडेंट्स का वेलफेयर चाहिए कंप्लीट इंडिपेंडेंस एंड अ टोटल रेवोल्यूशन वाई सर यू हैज यू से कमिटेड नॉनसेंस वेरी आइडियोलॉजिकली ड्रिवन सर हैजंट बैंड एनीवन आज यू गेट इन टू टॉक इवन इफ टाइम्स अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस एम यू वुड एम सीइंग यस यू हैव गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम It's important for your own sake, and we know what your real name is. Ram Mohammed Singh Azad. Hmm. It's been on him the whole time. Hmm. I said it at that time. Why I was responsible for a monstrous event. That church room? Yep. Yeah, you could tell by that behavior. He's going to see the queen, yep. Yep. It's the Indian soldiers. We can't afford to be seen as, as, as weak. <laughs> I understand. Your Majesty. Mm. Her legs. Bunch of lies. <laughs> it's also to maintain yeah, the yeah. reputation. Right. Very, very delicate. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, strategic move. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's very, very delicate right now. Oh, now we're almost man. halfway. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Man. All right. Um, well, well, that was part one. Yes. Um, the setup of this. Yeah. It's fascinating how they filmed it because obviously they already showed him assassinating the person. Michael and now O'Dwyer. it's just finding out more information of why and people he was involved with. So it's almost, you know, it's kind of educating us. I know this isn't like entirely true yeah, to the an, story. Interpretation, yeah. But it's more taking it, like doing the flashbacks. And mm. I don't know, it's very in, informative and insightful. The movie is. Like you're saying, Jim, um, I think shedding some light on, on specific aspects to a very complex time in history, world history, um, and we're seeing the way that one man's actions, with very passionate motives, what that does to, you know, a country and uh, a country that's going through its own struggles and own uh, turmoil and at the, at the brink of of World War Two, there's a lot. There's a lot to, to digest. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of this first part was um, explaining to us, you know, the history and the the connection. And clearly, a lot, a lot of the talking was the detectives, because um, Udham wasn't saying anything. Or rather, that's that's I forget what the what his real name was. But anyway, what are, what are some of the thoughts we're feeling? Because there's a lot here. Do they feel like they're really? Like unveiling the story as it was hmm. unveiled, um, to kind of everybody in in history. Does that make sense? Where they kind of only saw the surface of it and the event of what You're happened right. in the present moment. Yeah. But they had to dig further in order to find what really happened and what caused him to do this. Mm-hmm. Um, and that it's not so black and white. Um, it's it's if. It, it, yeah, it's it's very um, it's very it's very complicated, um, very complex. But then again, he's been through a lot, and you can tell even by the way that he's dealing with the interrogations. It's not out of fear, and he's just being really patient. That there's a certain level that that he's trying to, because he's not speaking. You know, there's mm-hmm. there's there's a a strategy to that. I think there's a deep trauma too to the intentions behind what he's doing mm-hmm. yeah. that we haven't been we haven't seen yet, and I'm sure it's gonna be mm. heart wrenching when we finally see what led him to this. Mm-hmm. Um, you could tell it was very strategic, very planned. Um, it's causing him a lot of heartache, but he can't sleep. Mm. Um, but I think when I see the British, um, their fear for the consequences of what they've done it's almost like they have this pride in what they did but they're now afraid that they've created this stir (laughs) of conflict where one man who does this who shoots all these people will now incite other people to you know revolt and turn against them and now they're all like you know freaked out about finding who else is responsible and who else could be planning something. Obviously, that's a sense of pride and ego in a way and also trying to keep the reputation of the British Empire at a good state. Yeah, I mean, so. that's that's the thing. is It's, it's interesting because the way the movie started, they kind of put us in the perspective of of seeing, right? So we're, we're kind of... I don't want to say siding with him, but we're understanding him and why he's yep. waiting and moving and strategizing. But um, the easiest way to make it understandable to everybody is that it is black and white, because there's there's a a global um, a global problem going on. You know, like there's they're in a time of war. Everything is very like dangerous and and very sharp edge. Heightened, yeah. Very very heightened. Mm-hmm. So. To deal to deal with the the situation to not make things more complicated, they try to simplify it so that there's there's more of like a, a like a, a safe feeling of who they're siding with. It's, it's just ultimately very very complicated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And there's it's a time where, you know, this the, this guy, um, his name is Udham, right? Udham. Udham. Yeah. 
he mm-hmm. Utam Singh need needs these people to understand but there's so much going on that it's it's hard it's hard for them to understand mm-hmm. and it's it's different language and there's just so much separation that was present in this time of the world mm-hmm. and it's it's really heartbreaking to see mm-hmm. um and it, it sucks <laughs> it sucks a lot yeah. that's you? that's really what i take away from this first part it's the absolute heartache that it is you know I, one of the questions i had when we saw the trailer was how how did this correlate if at all with world war Two? And clearly, it has an effect on how it's being handled by the British Empire at this time. Um, They had to be very delicate about it. So that's what I do appreciate about this movie is that it's giving me a bit of insight as to the possible interpretation to how this event was dealt with. Mm -hmm. The event itself was, you know, it's an act of a human who is fighting to... To Who's, honor to honor his his pursuit of justice and freedom as he sees it. We're talking about what's the less evil. Yeah. The lesser of two evils, because it's you know. I mean, this guy. This, you go you go from one side and and. Michael Dwyer massacred people, and he basically admits I had to do it. Right. <laughs> he says I had to do it, and all up and down history, people will justify absolutely horrible things. Right. But the reality is. When you take a life, there's no justification. Mm. There is no yeah. justification. It doesn't matter the color of your skin. You took a life, and we are not granted that right. We're not. And yet we do it. We've been doing it up and down the centuries since the beginning of time. Mm-hmm. So it is our human brokenness. So this is what we're witnessing. I, don't, I, I, I can't say I, I intend to take a side or not i'm i'm on the side of humanity and right now it sucks to see <laughs> mm-hmm. that this is the reality that we live with and the reality of world war ii as we've studied on this side of the world the 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 very specific reality of what udhab singh and and all of the indian people went through is horrible it's absolutely horrible and the british empire like the spanish empire in their day up and down the centuries abusing of their power conquering lands they weren't supposed to de- demolishing and destroying native people i mean we can go on all day about that just a side comment that i think is important to note a lot of you guys um did recommend that um jemmy and josh did not maybe not see this movie because of the themes and the violence Mm -hmm. um but as you know mom and dad we we really feel strongly that these these moments in history are very important to to learn about and Mm -hmm. to see and to experience in this way you know, there's so much history that we don't know about or that we don't recognize that's important for us to learn. Right. So it's, you know, I do appreciate that we are watching this and I'm mm-hmm. loving it so far and the way they're presenting it and showing it. And I was going to get to that to silence. close. How are we, to close it up, how are we feeling about this as a movie besides the, the story aspect? Well, I mean, it's abs- right now it's flawless. I mean, I'm phenomenal. Flawless. Yeah. Yeah. The Amazon's cinematography is beautiful. The performances are fantastic. I think the the way the story is being told, I love because it you almost ask a question and it's answered in the next scene. Like mm-hmm. you're it's taking you on this journey going back and forth and when you ask a question or when the the um detective asks him a question, right after that they show a scene where it's answered for us. So mm. we're almost discovering this in a very very artistic way. Uh, I think it's it's also very real. It makes you feel like you're in a way there. Yeah. The way they shoot the the scenes, that heartbreaking scene where the boy falls. Um, it's very raw. And it's gets really shot raw, right? like it's very, very raw, very real. So. Yeah, and yet the reality is even worse. So the artistic tones of this helps yeah. us digest. Right, the reality of this. So we appreciate this movie very much. Yes, it's we appreciate done. your beautifully recommendation done. and your yeah. passion for us to watch it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we're not done. We still have yep. an, about half of it to go. We are halfway through. So, mm-hmm. um, stay tuned for part two. Thank you for joining us for part one. Um, it's already heavy, and we've heard the second half is is really where it gets it gets really really hard to watch. So, so um, thank you for joining us, and we'd love to connect with all of you in the comments. What you guys uh would like to talk to us about what you think is important for us to know about the history 
what stood out in this movie and what to keep in mind going into part two. Um, but again, we're extremely grateful for all of you. Thank you for your support. Um, if you guys want to help support what we do here on this channel, you guys can check out our Patreon down below in the description or with this quote up above where you guys can help support what we do here. Um, as a family of artists, uh, we plan to make more original content, short film sketches, things like that. If you guys want to become an official producer, uh, check that out. But uh, with that, go out there, spread your light, and we'll see you guys in the next Magilid video. Bye. 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 Bye.